It's quite different to what a psychologist do because my work is more on a focus on the problem. Um, not so sure because with, with psychology you go into the past and but when people come and see me it's usually that they they want the problem to be addressed. And yes, we sometimes go into the past and find out what is the meanings from sex, um, the messages they got about sex and because that, that do influence a, a person's whole perception about sex. So but then I focus on the problem and try and solve that. I think it is it's quite new for PE because I'm the first in Port Elizabeth and the whole Eastern Cape. There, there's a clear difference between um, a psychologist that has maybe a sex therapy that does sex therapy than, than us that's clinical sexologists because we studied that most of us, there's about four of us in South Africa, no, there's about five of us now in South Africa that did a master's degree or a doctor degree in sexual health. So we specialize in sexual health um, and, and then yes, so that is the, the, the difference for us. Usually they end up in, and, and it's about a sex problem. It's either that for men that they have erectile dysfunction or primitive ejaculation and women presenting with low libido, just saying they don't want to have sex anymore or painful intercourse. And so they come with a problem, but usually when, when they present, it's more also sometimes to do with the relationship. So I address the relationship and then we address the sex problem because a, a sexual uh, a dysfunction or sexual concern actually affect a relationship. So but we need to sort out the relationship first before we can actually solve the, the problem. Well, there's... When, when I started off in looking to see where I can actually um, study sexual health, there was no, there's actually no um, university in South Africa that offers a degree in that. So for me, I had to go overseas. I did my course online, but it also, I had to go, I went five times to Australia in two years. So it's quite a, it's quite an expensive course. Um, so unfortunately, that's the only way. What a lot of people do is that they, they study psychology, they do their master's, and then part of their master's course is a subject of sex therapy. So they've got a, just a small part of sex therapy in the course. But unfortunately, overseas is the only place at the moment where you can do that. Well, it was all about um, the, the sexual function and dysfunctions and... Um, we had gender identity, we worked with, uh, with sex and disabilities, um, obviously counselling therapies, that, that, that because it's, quite, it's, a, it's different, uh, the, the counselling techniques that we use in sex therapy than in normal um, therapy. Um, we did, there was a lot of theory because uh, most of our, our work was, because it was online, there was a lot of assignments, I had to find people in, in Port Elizabeth that I couldn't do um, an assignment on and, and, and the practical side was I had to go overseas and I, I worked at Impotence Australia and I worked at Repromed and I worked at Shine, so I worked at different clinics in, 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 in Sydney and in Adelaide to gain that practical experience that, that was required by the university. So it's not just, um, you know, you, you, it, there's a lot of work and a lot of, it's a lot of effort that goes into um, to actually qualify because to get your certifi certification as a sex therapist is it's actually quite hard. I think I always, I always said working, working on the bridge, because I was for four years very involved on the bridge, and a lot of the trauma that I've seen there was relationship problems. And for me, out of relationship problems, there's always the sexual problems that's involved and that affects, a, it's very traumatic for people that come to see me. So I've seen the, I think the heartbreak I saw there and then I, um, I decided that that's one aspect that I really want to specialize in. I think the response has been quite good. My practice is really busy. It's the awareness and that we can talk about sex because coming to see me is going, really going to see the gynecologist. Um, some other time people do experience sexual problems in their relationships um, and yes, then, then they need to see someone. So yes, I do think people are getting more comfortable but it takes a while, it takes up to three to six months for someone to get the courage to make an appointment to come and see me. I think it's better to come and see me face to face because that way it's, it's a better rapport that we can build and, and I can do a thorough sexual history because in, in my work I need to do a sexual history, do a medical history 
um, so it's different than what's on A. On A is really just a particular question about erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, and I, I answer in, in like in brief. But coming to see here, see me here, I can actually address their um, medical history, sexual history, and find out a, a treatment plan for the individual that come to see me. I think stress, people's roles has changed, men, women has um, women taking on men's roles now and so yeah people are more tired and I always say to couples as well is we just stop putting effort in anymore the longer you get to know someone the more you let yourself go and you don't put in effort anymore so it's all about the effort that we don't put in anymore so basically that's really what I see um, and it's very easy to say that you know, have I married the wrong person? Um, am I going to stay with this person for the rest of my life? And my message to people is always, love is not just a feeling. It's a decision that you make every single day. Because it's easy that we can easily find someone else and it's going to be go lovely and wonderful for about two years in that relationship, but then you're going to end up exactly where you used to be, like an old relationship. Yes, I can actually look on my website. Um, I do have essential toys there, a very big range of toys, and the, the quality of the toy is very good because I, I, all my products is, is a Doc Johnson product, and I do believe that that women need to be so careful what toy, what quality, what range of toy they buy because most often the the quality aren't that good, and it also lead to infections. So it's really look look at that. The whole thing about sex therapy is if, if it's consensual between, between two adults, you know what, then that's fine if it doesn't, it doesn't harm anybody else.